If you're a fan of mixed martial arts, then I'm sure you've heard of the name Dustin Poirier several times, or maybe you've even watched some of his matches. For those of you who are not familiar with him, Dustin Poirier is an American professional mixed martial arts fighter who was also the former interim UFC lightweight champion. Dustin Poirier, who is he? A professional mixed martial artist with a current net worth of $4 million, Dustin Glenn Poirier was born in Lafayette, Louisiana on January 19th, 1989, and is one of Acadian French descent as a young man Poirier dropped out of high school for constantly getting himself involved in street fights and brawls. Initially, he took a liking to boxing but quickly shifted to mixed martial arts after being captivated by the sport. So he trained in a local MMA gym in his hometown of Louisiana. Before he got into MMA, Poirier himself said that he used to collect aluminum cans and pecans before getting into the sport. He's a family man. Despite his intimidating looks, Poirier is a dedicated family man and loyal to his wife, Jolie. Before the two tied the knot, they were longtime lovers and their first encounter was when she saw him during one of his brawls in high school. They were together for 16 years and 10 of them they spent married. The two had their first child, a daughter named Parker Noel, on August 20th, 2016. He lost to Conor McGregor but made a comeback. In 2014, Poirier was ahead of the game, winning left and right until he got matched to Conor McGregor. He was 25 at the time when he suffered his first knockout loss at the hands of McGregor, which trended worldwide on social media. After losing the match, Poirier admitted that he became heartbroken about the loss. Luckily, he was able to redeem himself when McGregor came out of retirement for the third time in 2020, and the two had a rematch just this January 22nd with a knockout in the second round of their lightweight fight at UFC 257 held in Abu Dhabi, United Arab Emirates. The proceeds of this fight went to charity, with McGregor promising to donate a chunk of his earnings to Poirier's charity. A part of his story is told on film. In 2011, filmmakers Michael Tucker and Petra Epperlin released a sports documentary film entitled Fighterville that revolves around mixed martial arts, of which their focus was on several Louisiana fighters. Being a Louisiana native, Poirier's story was featured in the film. His first main event resulted in a loss. One of the highlights in his career is when he fought against Korean zombie Chan Sung Jung at the main event of UFC on Fuel TV, which was held May 15th in 2012 and took place in Fairfax. Virginia, USA. Although he did well, Poirier lost the fight to Jung by a submission wherein the latter used the Darce choke on him. Despite the results, their bout was crowned as Fight of the Year by the likes of ESPN, MMA Awards, Sure Dog Awards, and the Wrestler Observer Newsletter. He has a side hustle other than MMA. Other than MMA, Poirier got into a partnership with a Canadian company to make a specialized hot sauce. The company, Heartbeat Hot Sauce Company, partnered with the MMA fighter to release his new hot sauce brand called Poirier's Louisiana Style. The product is listed on his website and available for purchase at $12. He got his first tattoo at a young age and a whole lot more. In America, the legal age to be able to drink alcohol is 21 years old, which bears the same for getting tattoos. But Poirier got his first tattoo at a much earlier age of 14. When asked about why he got the tattoos, he answered by saying, I never planned any of these. Like, it was always just in the moment, like I wanted to get another tattoo, and I just did it. It's pretty common for MMA fighters to have tattoos, and Poirier is no stranger to that. In fact, the man himself has 27 of them. In Louisiana, a lot of guys had tattoos before they were 14, and they were covered with the whole of them. They were made at home and were done by tattoo guns. I started getting two until my mother told me to stop and make it official if I want to get tattoos by getting it done from some parlor and avoid getting some skin disease. The MMA fighter would say when asked about his tattoos. He further added, when I used to look at my grandfather, he was in the Navy, he was a gentleman, and his chest and legs were covered in tattoos. There were tattoos all over his chest. Test. Here are the tattoos imprinted on his body. His daughter's name, Parker Noel. His first child was born in August 2016, but that's not the only name he's got tattooed on him. In fact, there are others names inked on his body with him saying, I got four women's names inked on my body because I have been brought up by women and I think they're powerful. Tiger Stripes Tattoo. These stripes run across the left pectoral muscles and in them are three Japanese characters, Bushido or the Way of the Warriors. He goes on to say, I just want something in the middle so I got Bushido, i.e. the code for warrior. I think I've always been a fighter and a warrior. I did not choose this, it just kind of happened and I love this life. On his right arm, these are the tattoos he got inked. Rose, and falling petals, black bands on his right arm, stars and fire tattoo on his right, a phoenix tattoo, a Jesus tattoo, a portrait of Christ tattoo on his inner right forearm, his grandmother's name Glenda on his right wrist, his mother's name Diane on the center of his right arm, a Japanese mask on the inner side of his right upper arm, a diamond tattoo on both his wrists. 
On the other side, the following are the tattoos inked on his left arm. A Louisiana Tiger tattoo on his left shoulder, a Magnolia Flower tattooed on his left bicep, Mary's portrait on his left forearm, the words blood bought paid in full on the other side of his left forearm, a diamond tattoo that matches the other wrist, Chinese characters on his left forearm, a tribal design that is inked on the other side of his left bicep, some red flowers on his red upper arm, a spider's web on his left elbow. And it doesn't stop there. Poirier still has a couple more on his hands. These tattoos are seen inked on his hands. An inspired tattoo that's located on the corner of his right palm. A crown tattoo that is stretched on the outside of his right hand. A Florida list tattoo on the outside of his left hand. Roman numerals that stand for his wedding date that's located on the side of his left hand. A faith tattoo placed on the outer side of his left hand. And finally, a huge cross on his right thigh. He's quite the philanthropist. Poria has been a champion to many and even more so to charity. The fighter did several charitable acts in his community and knows how to give back. For starters, he auctioned his UFC 211 kit on eBay back in 2017 to help raise money for the Second Harvest Food Bank, a movement started by the U.S. nonprofit organization called Feeding America. The kit consisted of Poirier's shirt, gloves, cap, hand wraps, and shorts, to which the highest bidder paid $5,100. Poirier continues to sell his kits to help raise money for various causes, of which the next one he sold was in April 2018. At the time, he and his wife established the Good Fight Foundation. Through this foundation, he and his wife sold his UFC title 120 and UFC on Fox 29, of which the proceeds went to the Acadiana Outreach Center and the family of a diseased Lafayette police officer. Besides those kits, he also sold his UFC on Fox kit, with which the money earned went to buying 500 backpacks for school children in his hometown of Lafayette. Lafayette. After his fight at UFC 242 with Nirmana Gedoff back in 2019, he had his opponent swap shirts, to which Nirmana Gedoff said in a post-fight interview that he would be selling the t-shirt intending to donate to Poirier's foundation. Similarly, Poirier also announced that he would sell his kit to also raise funds for the foundation. Poirier managed to sell the shirt he got from Nirmana Gedoff for $60,200, while the shirt his opponent got from him was sold for $100,000. Dana White, UFC's president, matched the donation to combine a total of $200,000 donation to Poirier's foundation. His foundation is also known to have been working with Justin Wren's fight of the forgotten to help provide clean drinking water to the Kuya Batwa people in Uganda. When the global health situation hit hard in 2020, Poirier's foundation donated 1,000 meals to three major hospitals in his native Lafayette area that covered all these employees. For his charitable acts, he was awarded the Forrest Griffin Community Award by UFC on June 26, 2020. Honoring his pledge at UFC 250 57, McGregor donated $500,000 to the Good Fight Foundation to help Poirier and his foundation help more people. And with that, we just about covered some lesser known, fascinating facts about Dustin Poirier. So we hope this video gave you as much delight as it gave us making it. Don't forget to jab that thumbs up button before you go and make sure to subscribe to our channel with the notification bell on for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you soon the next time.